Legends in person, and what we witnessed tonight by the winner Jarrell Johnson is is impressive. He has something really, really special, and he's going to go very far. And I think it's going. I think he's going to be way bigger than Christian hip hop or Christian rap. And I think he needs to be intentional about being bigger than Christian hip hop or rap. And that's not that's not a pride statement. That's just the ability level. I've seen these guys live, and he, he, he's at that same level or, or beyond, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. He had a line today, and he had to talk about the, 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 um, the spare tire. <laughs> and he said something eating vegetables like asparagus. And he and he, and he said, y'all yeah, didn't get it, I said the word in the middle. And I was mm -hmm. like, <laughs> I know. <laughs> the word was spare tire, he said asparagus. And the, okay, and he said that while he was rhyming. That wasn't a premeditated line, that was in the moment, on the spot. Yeah. Somebody who can think like that, you can. I practice freestyle, but you can't. You can't define that. You have to. You have to really. That's just God. Like that's really God. That's a, like God gave you that. And of course, you know, it's special discipline. Yeah. But that's just like amazing. So, I think Jarrell Johnson is going to be a huge deal. Yeah. I think. Um, I think the dope part about him is he makes music. And for my understanding, I just got this. His album Two Colors is pretty dope from what I heard. And I think he has the potential in just hip hop in general to be a dope freestyle. Artist, mm -hmm. to be a dope uh, hip hop artist that can write songs. Yeah. We don't have that. Nobody's done that. Nobody's done that. You listen to some of these hip hop legends that are dope freestylers, they make awful music. And for my understanding, I haven't heard this, I'm about to listen to it right now. Um, as we get in the car, I'm really excited. And for my understanding, he makes really good music. Yeah. So uh, I'm excited. Uh, I'm really excited, man. So shout out to Jarrell Johnson. Well, what about the DJ stuff? You, you got to see that? The DJ stuff was dope. Um, this is the thing, Christian Hip Hop has been known for being corny and being whack. And what we're seeing is the ability level. The ability level is, is, is up there now. So it's no longer an, uh, an ability level, it's no longer corny. This level. The ability level is up there. And now I think as a movement, DJs included, we need to be strategically and intentional about going into the world, going into the marketplace and impacting the world. So next year at South by Southwest, I'd love to see this in downtown off of 6th Street. Yeah. We, gotta, we gotta get in there, we gotta get in that mix, we gotta fight to get these types of things in the mix. And we gotta and we gotta be careful to not brand everything as Christian rap and holy hip hop and when somebody drops a music video we go on there and we Jesus for the Lord like and comment that kind of stuff and just like yo praise God for their talent but understand that, that the, the, what's gonna happen next is you're gonna see these artists, you're gonna see the praise, you're gonna see the high societies, you're gonna see the breaks, you're gonna see the D ones going into the secular industry and and, and being a voice for the Lord and for a biblical worldview, and so as Christians, we gotta be, you know, we gotta be strategic and we gotta understand their vision, and we gotta, we gotta support them in that. And especially guys like Jarrell Johnson, I think he's gonna do great. I think um, I was really impressed with DJ Oslam today because um, he dropped one of our joints. <laughs> Um, 
Yeah, man, I'm really excited. I'm really excited about this talent level. Uh, again, my concern is that we're not so quick to brand everything as Christian rap. We're not so quick to be like, this is our thing. This is holy hip hop. This is like, this is hip hop. This is hip hop. What distinguishes us is our faith, not a genre. It can't be about a genre. It can't be about a subculture. We need to go into the culture and impact the culture. That's what I'm excited about. That's what that's what we're gonna see, guys. Like 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 Terrell Johnson. That's what we're seeing Lecrae do right now. That's what we're seeing D1 and Shad and, and High Society and Mr. J. Maderos. And I think that's where we need to be. And you have to be really dope. You have to be really connected and intimate with those ones. And you gotta be really humble because you're gonna face a lot of rejection. You're gonna get in front of. You're gonna go from playing an event like this where everybody knows you and everybody wants a picture and everybody wants your autograph to an event in, in, in a club where nobody knows who you are. You know what I mean? And you gotta be content with that. You gotta be okay with that. You gotta be willing to step in front of a crowd and win them over on some real MC stuff. You know what I mean? And I think um, I've never seen I've never seen the ability, ability level of artists where it is right now. Uh, I think it's I think it's amazing, and I'm just happy to be a part of it. Like I'm a fan, and uh, again, we gotta be intentional. We gotta be strategic, and we have to make sure that we're impacting the world and not segregating ourselves. When we segregate ourselves, we become ineffective, and uh, it can't just be about market and selling records and you know catering to this audience. We have to be intentional and missional about going into there. So I'm gonna get off my soapbox. This is Bruce Lamb <laughs> for the breaks for South. Thank you guys for having us. Trey Nine, shout out, Sketch for Jay, um, DJ Wado, all the amazing DJs that were in it today, all the amazing MC. Shout out to my man Enlightenment, who came in second. Uh, Saw Paul. Uh, I'm just so privileged and humbled to be a part of this. So, peace.